five whys are a very effective but yes super simple method to explore the cause and effect relationships underlying a specific problem so with the five whys you can get to the root cause the real reason why things are the way they are but somehow along the way we kind of lost um, this gift to ask why i remember when i was a kid i kept asking my mom all the time why is this like this and why is that like that and this helped me to understand the world's complexity but at a certain point out of frustration my mom just kind of yelled at me stop asking and this is how we kind of unlearn those things i want to give you an example on how the five whys work in real life hey frank i can't complete that task but why because i don't have enough time well why don't you have enough time because I was busy doing so many other things. Why are you busy doing other things and didn't work on that task you were given? Because I just didn't prioritize that task. But why not? Because this task doesn't make any sense. And why is that? Because it is redundant. Jimmy's already working on the same stuff. You see, if you're the manager and you stopped after the first why, you'd probably end up just um, extending the deadline to complete that task but if you go all the way you most likely end up reprioritizing or even deleting the task because it's redundant so if you face a problem make sure that you get to the root cause to take appropriate action and the five whys is a powerful method to help you with that